How you doing? Good, how you doing? I can't complain. Actually, I mean, I guess I can. That's why I'm here. All right, folks, here we are. We're in their lair right now as we speak. So we're going to try to speak calmly and nicely as to not raise a ruckus here. But it is the most beautiful day of the year. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? I can't complain. What? Can't complain? Yeah, no, it's awesome. Yeah, right? I mean, at least on the weather-wise, right? Yeah. I, I, do, I do complain. And I have some, some things to discuss but here we are we're at the lake can you believe it thought winter was gonna go till August easily last week when we had uh, about a foot of snow on Thursday which didn't really actually feel very real to be honest with you felt kind of fake how you doing uh, so there are there's literally probably every Five minutes or so, there'll probably be two or three hundred people walking by. I'm not kidding. That's how many people are outside right now. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's about 70 degrees, about 20 Celsius for all you laymen. A lot of pss and eye rolling going on, which is great. It's good that they got sunglasses on because then I can't see their eye rolls. But we have been doing this for a while, so we do have an idea of who's accepting of public speaking and who's not. It's funny, all these people come out to enjoy the day, but none of them will talk to anybody in public other than to say, excuse me, or can I have that supersized? The pavilion down the road, just, you know, down here, has your ice cream and all your goodies to eat. And even when you're sitting down, you probably won't have anybody sit next to you. Hey, you know, I, all the other tables are full. Do you mind if I sit next to you? No, they would rather walk away. How you doing? Good. Do you believe you live on a globe, ma'am? Okay, then you're not religion. That's not anything to be proud of, but it's all right. Um, so we have our new signage here. I'm going to show it to you uh, here. So what do you think? This is going to be fun. Globe Earth is state religion. Hopefully that can create some dialogue and help them understand that they're all believing in an image that they've never seen with their own eyes. So it's really no different than your Caucasian, long-haired Jesus Christ who allegedly sacrificed himself uh, this weekend on Esther. What better day to be out? in my opinion, than Saturday, get out and drive, maybe spend some money, turn some stuff on, come out here to the public and then dialogue about their religion and, you know, maybe engage on their priesthood of the scientism that they believe in and the outer space and various other things. Because this is really the only weekend that a group of people will get together and maybe, uh, you know, ask for forgiveness and forgive others and then move on, you know, and then not do the bad stuff that they're supposed to be doing anymore. Yeah, it's funny. I mean, yep. Talk about it in public, right? So, we got our new getup. I mean, this is not a new getup, but I mean, this is pretty fun. 
to be here outside with all the normies walking around the lake because they got their one day off per week not paying taxes anymore yep so we do have some red pills here I'll show you these I'm pretty excited about these so we got these DVDs here and I have blue marker, so I'm going to write on the blue marker, red pilled in these uh, pink sleeves, so that'll be fun. Well, and, and uh, batting down the hatches too, I mean, if there really is anything I could complain about, it's this wind, always. We have two seasons in Minnesota, road construction in winter. And then when it is nice, it's mosquitoes or wind. So we're just gonna hang out, maybe stand up later and hand out some pamphlets, because those are true, as always. But otherwise, we'll just hang out and just see what you know, transpires. And just down the road, you know, maybe about 50, 100 feet from me is what do you think about flat earth signs? So really just trying to hit them in all directions. It's just too windy. I mean, really, I feel like I'm gonna blow away here sometimes. It's even knocked on some of the signage I have here. How you doing? complain I'm just presenting some information to the public and kind of seeing what you think about it what size is America? yeah what size uh, is the proper size of America because you've seen it from outer space before obviously right it's this size. obviously right well I say it's this why why not why can't I because that's not true why is it not true well, because of the evidence of our own eyes okay but you're saying that's <laughs> the size of Earth, uh, America right yes I'm saying it's this Wrong. Why am Why am I wrong though? I don't understand. <laughs> because we can see it. We've, we've been to outer space. We've seen it from outer okay, space. Okay, I just want to like make sure that you know. So I'm I'm saying that the one. Yeah. He's saying the one on the the left. the left. His left is right. And I'm saying the one on my left is right. Uh -huh. um, but these are both official NASA quote photographs of Earth from space. Uh -huh. yeah. And I'm saying that the size of America is bigger than the one that you're saying it is, right? Well, okay, they're both official photographs. Okay, now we're going to change our story. No, I'm not changing my story. Okay, you're going to defend them. Sure. Okay. Well, what are you trying to say? That America, United States, what about Canada? Canada's not even there. I know, right? They're, it's ridiculous. not even there. And funny, it's not even <laughs> tilted at 23 degrees. Right? Isn't yeah. that weird? So yeah. actually, these are both uh, Photoshop CGI composites right. that you've never seen before with your own eyes in outer okay. space, right? Yeah. So I mean, have you just to understand? You've seen the picture, right? Because you're looking at it uh -huh. from your vantage point. Right. But the Earth as a marble in outer space, you have never seen before, correct? Incorrect. Okay, so you've been to outer space. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Not using psychedelics. Yes. Okay. How have you been to outer space to see the Earth? You can actually buy a plane ticket down to New Mexico now, or a space ticket. And that you've done. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean... I mean, I'm if not, you're just going to lie to me, million, are you a, a liar? Well, I mean, I mean, if you're a flat earther, then... Well, I'm just, you know, presenting visual. information, <laughs> you know? I'm presenting information. You've never seen the Earth... Let's be get down to Brax tax here, okay, okay, bud? Okay. You've never seen the Earth from that perspective, and you believe that image is where you live, even though you've never seen it before. That's no different than me saying Jesus Christ is a Caucasian with long hair and he weighs 120 pounds wet. Well, we don't know how much does this weigh. Okay, well, they, they make them, the Catholic <laughs> Church makes them look awfully frail in those churches, right? Well, those are only artistic, like, depictions. Okay, so Jesus doesn't devices. really look like that then, right? Um, actually, in the Bible it says he, was, he wasn't very attractive at all. Okay, you know, exactly. So he probably didn't right. look as good as they probably put him in. Exactly. Movies. So yeah. even that st extent, <laughs> but he also tells us not to do that, right? Do not what? to create an image of yeah. him, yeah. right? And yeah. worship that, because that's yeah. not really him, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. So you're worshiping that because I tell you that's not where you live. I'm not worshiping. Yeah, you are. You live. You think you live here. It's not the same as worship. I'm telling. you, Okay, so <laughs> my point, I guess, is is the water behind you, right? Other uh -huh. than it being windy, lays level yeah. and flat. Right. Okay. So at how high and how much water do you have to see and you know be to have water conform to the exterior of a shape like a sphere then? Okay. Size of the planet, okay, that you've never seen before. Gosh. Have you have you been to outer space? I know that water lays level and flat in all observational measurements, right. and it doesn't bend. Right. And the only way it does is how. Well, if, if the uh, only way it does is how. Come on, no. If it bends. Yeah. Um, if there's enough gravity on yeah, it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's a belief. So not only do you believe this is where you live. You have to say gravity does it, and that's magic. Because yeah. you can't do that here on Earth. Magic? So are you calling gravity? I'm calling magic with a K, yeah. Because you can't make water do this here. Yeah. You have to go higher, but you've never seen the Earth. Nobody's ever been this high before to see the Earth from this perspective. Yes, I have. Okay, so this, this, the moon this, landing, this, right? This on the moon. Okay, so later tonight like when you see three, the moon... three countries that have actually been there. Okay, they have landed men yeah. on the moon and uh, women. The United States, China, what was the other one? Okay, Ch China has landed human beings on the moon or probes? I think they just landed In probes. RC cars. Yeah, the okay. United States landed people. Right, how many yeah. times? Like, Not even close, but six. six. Yeah, okay, and you're familiar with the whole Dick Nixon and, you know, thing, yes. right? Yeah. Okay, so he's a compulsive liar. Right? Nixon? Yeah. Which, I mean, you know, just by, by what mainstream would say, like he's a liar, right? Well, so I they mean, went to the moon six times during his presidency. Isn't that kind of weird? So are you saying that, are you saying that the moon landing was a lie? I'm just saying that there's a lot of circumstantial evidence to show that the moon isn't even a physical object to be landed on, let alone go there. You're saying the moon isn't a physical object? Uh, I don't think so, no. What is it then, a balloon? Uh, it's a light in the sky. You've never been there before. To confirm, it is a solid object. Have you? Oh my goodness. Oh. Have you? I mean, you came here, right? Like, I set up shop, but you stopped and wanted dialogue. So, you're in it, man. Oh, no, just, I mean, you're getting red-pilled right now. So, if you honestly believe that, then this is where you are. You're in a religion. Run by the state. Well, it is. Thanks a lot for grabbing it. It is awfully windy here today. Yeah. But it's beautiful. Um, I'm just saying that you're in a religion based by the state of observations and things that events that happened in the past that you can't confirm yourself, other than relying on testimony and evidences of uh, military entities. Military. Well, I don't trust the military. But, okay. So, but at I, what I, extent? But I, I do trust the evidence in my own eyes. That I believe there is enough evidence to prove that the world is round. Okay, round like I have, okay. I have actually traveled. This is round. Earth. I've actually traveled around the Earth like airplanes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Different so countries. So let's say, not, not, let's say, not, not flat like round like a disc, like a globe. Okay. There's enough can I can I just can things. I just share something with you? And this is totally hypothetical, right? It definitely okay. Is so where did you go? Um, There's well, a map right here. I've, I've been down to New Zealand. Okay. So where's that? Asia. It's right here. Okay. So then, where was your connecting flight? Well, okay. So I started in North America. Yeah. Where was it? LAX. Uh, well, I flew from here to like New York, and then okay. from New York to like London. Okay. And I went down to like Italy and Africa and across. This is all one trip. Well, um, I did. I spent a year. I lived in New Zealand, so I took okay. a long, long way around. See how you're just doing that? Well, I went to like this. Yep. So this is a flat level this, map, this, right? This because this is a table. It isn't actually. No, this is the map. Right. This because is... water lays level and flat. How is the... this bending? You don't understand how a globe like, works. I'm not sure I don't think you do. Up. I don't think you do. I don't think you do because you've never seen this before. Okay. You've never seen to confirm with your own eyes water bending and turning man. into a ball. <laughs> but you've wasting, never seen you're this. Your you're I'm not wasting stuff. anything. I enjoy right. what I do in my free time. <laughs> enjoy yourself. And obviously you enjoy what you like to do, right? So you're going to judge me for my what I like to do? Well, I'm That's not very nice. It's bullshit. Okay. Well, a homosexual man being in love with a ch another man and then having a child, I find that offensive. And that's bullshit.
Hey, funny man, you want a dialogue for five minutes? I would take the air like Tom Brady right out of that football. Well, he's, he, he's the one that opened his mouth. How you guys doing? Good. Right on. What's up? What brings us out today? The beautiful weather? Yeah. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. So, do you guys think you're in a religion right now? Called uh, by the state? By what? By the state. What, uh, what's, what's that all about? Uh, what is it that the United States government has done that you don't believe? I don't know. I'm a pretty big patriot myself. Okay, I'm a patriot too. That's why I'm here. Yeah. yeah. What's this all about? Well, I'm asking you a question and we'll get to that uh, yeah. point. So, 9-11, do you believe 9-11 was actually the way that they tell it it was? I, I mean, I don't know. I wasn't there, so, you know, okay. I couldn't really see for myself. But you, but you still believe you live on a ball in outer space, right? Well, yeah. Okay, right, of course. So, what about uh, vaccines? I have vaccines. I'm vaccinated. You're vaccinated. Good for you, man. Good for you. What about mandatory vaccines? Do you have a problem with that? mandatory vaccines? Uh, no. I mean, what about all the people, like, dying from diseases? Okay, uh, show me one. Have you been to the hospital to see people dying of measles? I really don't go to the hospital. Okay. So then you don't know. Also, uh, if it's you. In order to like, work, like a certain amount of people have to get vaccinated. Yeah. No, they don't. Our creator created us with an immune system that can take over anything. And I will destroy measles just like I destroyed the flu and pneumonia over this last winter without vaccination. Have a nice day. So, yeah, four weeks of the flu here with cystic fibrosis. I didn't get vaccinated. I had destroyed it. That's right. So I guess my point is, is that it, is there really anything that you know the state provides you on the news that you question? Oh, I don't watch the news. Hey, good. Know that. We should go hang out and party or something. Can you wear that outfit? Uh, not for you. You know that would be no, quite okay. a lot of money if you just want to. If the earth is flat. Pony and circus this. Where's the edge? Yeah. Where's the edge? I'll destroy you, my friend. Yep. Walk away, cause that's all you got. Good times, great oldies. Cool 108, right here at Lake Calhoun. You gonna come and talk to me about vaccines? Give me a break. Chemtrails? 5G? Nope. But nobody would do anything to hurt me. I'm an American. How you doing? Good, how are you? I can't complain, thanks. What is, uh, what's globe? Just wanted to share, right? You know, you're taking pictures of me, so. Yeah. Might as well put you on camera, too. Right. So, uh, what do you think about chem, have you heard the idea of chemtrails or bi uh, geoengineering? Uh, no. No? Uh, what about, um, you know, in Vietnam, what they spray on people, do you remember? Agent Orange. Agent Orange, yeah. So, with Agent Orange, what were the repercussions of such a chemical? Cancer. Okay. By the Vietnamese people, maybe some of your Vietnam soldiers that are currently dying of said Agent Orange, right? Exactly. Okay. So, do you think that the United States government is doing the same thing to the American public right now called geoengineering, aka global warming, block out the sun. Oh, I see what you mean. I'm just correlating some yeah. interesting topics. Do you think the United States government would be currently doing something like that, more of a slow kill? Like Not, on purpose? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, Maybe have to even to... No. no there okay. could be like a... No? I'd have to say no. Okay. Have you ever looked into said uh, idea? No, I haven't. Okay. First time it's crossed your mind, huh? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully that's not a 35 millimeter. You run out of space. It is a 35 millimeter. Hey, right on. Man. I don't want to take up all your photos, but I did dress up just for you. So, have you ever seen the Earth from this perspective before in outer space? Yes, I have. In outer space? <laughs> Me being in outer yes. space? Mm -hmm. No, I have not. Okay. So, what do you mean that you did then? I don't understand. Oh, I thought you meant have I seen the picture? Yeah, of course you've seen the picture because you're seeing it right now, right? 
well prior to you showing it to me. Okay, so you have a pretty good understanding, like a really core belief that that's where you live, right? Yeah. Okay, why is that? Is that not true? I'm just at why is that? Why do you think that? Uh, well, it's a basic assumption that I take for granted. Okay, basic assumption. Because you were taught that, right? Yes. Okay. Exactly. And have you ever like been taught something and then come to find out that it wasn't true? Like maybe it was a myth and you should probably not believe it anymore? Have I? Yeah. Okay. Like what? Could you name one thing that you used to believe and now you don't because it's foolishness? Not, not off the top of my head. Really? Yeah, no. How about this, you? How about this weekend? I mean, I'll give you a clue. What's happening okay. this weekend? What? I don't know. You really don't know? No, I don't What's know. What's happening tomorrow? Easter. Hey, there you go. So do you still believe in the Easter Bunny? I do not. You don't? Okay. So do you see that water behind you? Uh-huh. It's kind of, you know, white capped a little bit. It's a bit windy, right? Okay. But when it's not windy and it's calm, right? Like when you're patient and you're just calm and you're just relaxing, right? With that cup of joe, right? Yes. Does water lay flat and level? Yeah. Okay. So how high do you have to be and how much water does there have to be for you to see it do this in outer space? I don't know. You know, how about here in our reality? If I was to, with my water jug here, um, have your camera, I hope it's waterproof, right? It's not. And I dump water on it, is water going to conform to a sphere around it and float? No. No, it's not. What will it do? It'll fall off it. Okay, so other than using gravity, can you explain to me how water conforms to the exterior of a shape like that in outer space? Well, it is based on gravity, isn't it? I know, right? But I just, I gave you a prerequisite, if you will. Tell me how water can turn into a sphere and float other than using gravity. You're in a religion, my friend. That's a belief. So, just... Heads up, man. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice afternoon. You too, buddy. He took like a half a dozen pictures of me. I put my pearly whites on, though. For the camera. So these jokers over here playing football mouthed off earlier and that guy behind the sign said how can the earth be flat if the football's a ball and it's not really a ball it's actually an oblate spheroid what would I know right? Yucking it up with the normies. I just think it's about that time where you just gotta have some fun now. I mean, the pride that must come from those who know the truth about these things just feel like they have like one up on people. Like it's just. I don't even know if like these normies could all handle the truth, really. People would lose their mind, their cotton picking mind. How you doing, man? Well, I can't complain other than the wind, right? Want to chat about it? Uh, I don't have to be. Well, I can talk about uh, geoengineering. Yeah. It is, sir. Thanks a lot, man. You want to trade? What is it? Uh, it's a, you know, DVD. You got a DVD at home, right? On a computer? Sure. Okay. What is it, environmental? Yeah. That's me. You're environmentalist? Yeah. You are, okay. Did you see that new video, Earth, by Little Dicky? No, is it on here? Uh, no, but you can, you can look it up. It's like a seven minute long music video. It's about global warming. Well, you're speaking to the choir here. So. I am, okay. Yeah, we don't... Unless you've got some new information. Yeah, uh, I do actually have some new information. What about, what do you think of the second sun? The 
second sun yeah. in our uni in our solar system. Mm -hmm. I don't never heard about. Never it. Ever, never heard about Nibiru or anything like that. No. The what? Nibiru. Nibiru. N N Nebraska. Nibiru. 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 Mm -hmm. Is he a philosopher or a scientist? No, it's allegedly a giant sun that's pulling, I guess, allegedly another solar system into ours. And there's oh, supposed the, to be massive gravi gravitational pull ratification, yeah. ramifications of it. So, uh -huh. um, but are you fam you're familiar with like geoengineering, right? Yes. Okay. What do you think about geoengineering? Do you think it's safe for human beings? Well, it depends on, you know, if they want to put uh, uh, parts Particles. Particles in the air. Mm -hmm. in order. Personally, I, I think it's uh, iffy and I'm not so sure that I support it. Okay, I don't either. That's good to hear. Even though you, I, I don't at all agree with global warming by any stretch of the imagination, because the Earth isn't a ball in outer space. Water lays level and flat in all observations. So at no point does it ever conform to the exterior of a shape. So if I had my water bottle there and I was to take my battery here and I dump water on it, Will it turn into a sphere, or will it just fall off to the ground? <laughs> well, the, you mean you're, in, you're this is I would destroy you, my friend, in two minutes. <laughs> you're wearing a clown suit. It's not about destroying people, dude. Yeah. Okay. It's not the about destroying people. going to drop off and go to the ground. Right, exactly. So, other than using the term gravity, which you've never seen the Earth from that perspective in outer space before, right? I haven't. I haven't either, right? And I would assume that everybody here that walks by hasn't, but they do have a particular belief that that's their home, even though they've never seen it before. Who's, who's, I don't know what you're talking about here. Who has that is Earth from outer space, correct? Yes. Allegedly. <laughs> well, no, I, 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 personally, I'm a child of the 60s, and I was there when, Those when are like uh, uh, I, uh, I was alive and well when Kennedy <laughs> promised we were going to go to the moon. Sure, great. And my father didn't well, believe it was going to happen. I believe we did have, we have orbited the Earth, and okay. these pictures were taken by NASA or asked people that were, you know, this, these were scientists floating around, and you say that's just a myth, and it's... I'm saying that working. you've never seen this before from outer space, from that perspective, so I challenge challenge you that you're believing in something that's not true. That's all. I believe in science. Because I believe in science too. But science is observational for everybody, right? It shouldn't be held to not a stature it's, it's, of yeah. NASA and us not being able to confirm things. Well, but NASA Trump? apparently has confirmed things, and I trust them before I trust Trump. Okay, hey, that's, that's fine. You know, and, yeah. uh, because, uh, these people so my sign is right then, right? You're in a state religion that everything the government says on TV is true. No, that's bullshit. Yep. Bullshit. No, you believe it. Everything they I say, you love. You love them. You want to worship them tomorrow. You will worship them tomorrow. Who well, should we worship? You should worship our creator, sir. Or what? And it's not evolution. Our creator, sir. That's who you should worship. Religion, man? Is that it? No, you should, you should have an understanding of who our creator is. We don't I know, but you believe in, you believe in evolution, right? I'm not sure. Even though you've never been there before, right? 13 billion years ago? That's a problem. What if there wasn't, what if we need more time? If we can't remember our past life, what good is reincarnation? There is no reincarnation. Come on, man. You should know better. Have a good one. Take care out there. Hey, hon, how are you? Hey, I'm doing well, thanks. Globe Earth, state religion. There's just nothing that these people here won't believe on TV. That's all. Everything the state tells you, you believe. Yeah, it does. Well, that and them thinking that they live here. Even though you can't. Yeah, you think you live here, though, my friend. On a globe in outer space? Okay. Okay, then where do you live, then? Uh, a couple blocks that way. Okay. Same. Okay. Good for you. So what's your point? What do you want from me then? What's your point? <laughs> Why are you sitting on your Yeah. Do you believe that we landed on the moon? Ah, uh, yeah. Because we did. Okay. So is there anything the state tells you that you don't believe? I just... Just pick and choose? Like, picking verses out of the Bible? 
just pick and choose I like okay so people land on the moon even though you can't verify it and there's a lot more circumstantial evidence to show that they didn't what about pictures I got pictures here too I got pictures of a giant lizard attacking Japanese people that's awesome yeah so that's true right yeah so you can differentiate between a movie and real right like I don't know a school shooting that happened 20 years ago yeah, Hollywood that's real NASA does something that's a little different. is it you did you think that did you know that NASA and Hollywood have a lot of you know inner connectivities they hire a lot of the same people yeah, I heard Matt McConaughey. Wasn't he working on something? I mean, if that's what you got is jokes, 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 that's fine. This is a joke. Like, but, no, yeah, no. prove me wrong then. This is a joke. Prove me wrong then, bud. I mean, <laughs> your bow tie is good. Yeah, I know, right? It's a periodic table. It's pretty sharp if you ask me. Yeah. See you later. It is. Yep, so 5G, vaccines, chemtrails. Yeah, you believe all that. Good for you, bud. It's your, sta it's your state religion. That's fine. Did I? Yeah. Okay, what is it? How is it supposed to be spelled? Not that one. Okay. I can't, I can't uh, just, can't yuck it up. So, when someone's argument supersedes yours, you attack their grammar, huh? Nice work. It is spelled right. It is spelled right, actually. It's just different. I know I did. It's pretty fun, right? Are you a, are you a Pharisee? Are you a Pharisee? Because I purposely knew how I was spelling religion, and he has to come and pharisaically regulate my spelling. Yucking it up with the normies. I'm not, huh? I didn't make fun of anything. He said I didn't. He said I didn't agree with what you're doing. I think it's bullshit. And I said I don't agree with what you're doing. I think it's bullshit. How is that? How is that anything? I don't have to agree with it. Why are you wearing that outfit? Uh, cause I can. Because that's what I choose to do. And last time I checked, I got free will. So. Yeah, well, here's the guy that, here, and then there's you, right? Yeah, sure. Who is, who is just, is top level clothing, high fashion. High fashion. High fashion. Those are free, you stole them from the How do you know? Because that's where you got them. You gonna call the police on me now? Why not? Do it. Why so serious? Why so serious? <laughs> Do you actually believe Bill Nye's a scientist? Like honestly? Do you honestly uh, believe that? I think he does. Yucking it up with the normies. How y'all doing? Good. I thought you were making art. I was just trying to see. Oh, though they make art in NASA. Did you know that? No. I yeah. <clears throat> Funny thing. Um, have you seen these two pictures before in your past? You know, and maybe at some point? Yeah, I think so. Probably. What do they tell us this is? Earth. Earth, right? So this is where you live, allegedly, right? Allegedly, yeah, definitely. Okay. Not definitely. Not allegedly. Definitely, okay. So, did you know, um, maybe you could just point to which is the proper size of America. That should be easy. Yeah, the bigger one, because everything's smaller on maps. Yeah, right? It's America too, right? America, Ooh. always bigger. Yeah, I right? suppose, why not? Okay, well, why I say it's this one. Yeah? Yeah. Maps are deceiving. Are they? <laughs> Maybe the globe is deceiving, I don't know. But have you ever seen the Earth from that perspective in outer space before? 
Not myself. Okay, but you have taken or heard. <clears throat> you've heard testimony of people who say they have, though, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, so what if they're lying? How do you know that they're not lying? There'll be a lot of people to get on one. Big okay. Lie. Okay, so just obfuscating that point right now because we could get to that here in a minute. But what if they're lying? My world is not a globe. Okay, I mean, fair enough, right? Yeah. But what you're doing is you're taking testimony of other people you've never met before, military personnel, who have been known to lie in the past. So you're just taking testimony like all the Christians, everybody going to church tomorrow is taking testimony of the Bible, right? Right. So you're in a state religion because there's nothing the state can tell you that you do not believe. Everything they tell you on TV, social media, TMZ, you eat it up. Everything. You, there's nothing that they would ever present to you that you could say there is no way that's true. Am I correct? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. That's not particularly where you want to be, but I mean, I can help you out and you can take a red pill, possibly wake up. It's got some random videos on there. Is there a blue pill? Uh, you are a blue pillar right now. Okay, you, I'm a blue you pillar. You, if you believe everything the state says... See, the point is, is behind you, there's a lot of water, right? Correct. So, when that water's not being tossed and turned by wind, it lays pretty calm and flat, right? For the most part. Okay, so how high do you have to be, and how much water does there have to be for it to do this and turn into a sphere? You've never seen water do that before. Other than magic with gravity, right? But even with gravity, I dump water on my on my one of my CDs here. It's not going to conform to the exterior of that shape and look like a floating rectangular water ball, is it? It's going to fall to the ground. Yeah. So you're in a religion. I want I want to watch this. It's a CD or a DVD. Oh, you can pop it in your DVD player. Um, okay. Maybe it'll play. But you know, most people have on their PC a yeah, DVD ROM. So it's got some files on there that I hope you enjoy and, you know, just think for yourself. Stop believing everything you see on TV. That's all. Yes, yes. Thank you. S step back, you know. Yeah. What's your name? Joshua. Joshua. Pleasure to meet you. Emmett. Emmett? Hey, right on. I got a uh, YouTube channel. You might as well check it oh, out. Yeah, why not? You'll be on it. So. Sweet. Yeah. Well, have a good day. All right. Cheers. <laughs> How you doing? Hey. What do we got? Uh, walking around. Walking around, right on. Yeah, it's a beautiful day for it. This is a, the map of the flat earth? Allegedly. It is a projection, because water lays level and flat, right? Always. What Always will, lays what level. What will happen if you go in a ship and get the, the edge? Okay. You going to do that? No, I mean in a flat. Okay. In a flat. Can I ask you a question? When you're driving, do you drive and stay on the roads or do you go onto property and go on parks and drive around like this? Do you stay on the roads? You stay on the roads? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes you go to drive through people's house? Oh, no, no, no. Casa? No? You don't do that? Right? You stay on the roads, right? So why you go to the edge? Why? No. You want to go to land, right? Why do you want to just drive and go out here? You cannot do that. You don't have gas to do that. So how do you know? No, I mean, you can, you can get over here walking. You can't do that. No? No, you can't. Walking? You, you, are you military? Navy? <laughs> An expedition? Uh, maybe. How you doing, man? Great. I'm, I've been a flat earther for oh, right on, man. Like 2014, so oh, good to well. see you out here. Thanks. Cheers, man. I got a YouTube channel. Just check it out. Authentic, oh. authentic intent. I got a card here. Just, you know, appreciate you, man. Yeah. All right. Well, I should say, until this guy did. And then I would want to get like, yeah, I'm going to come up with Yeah. So, that's why not wearing that battle. How you doing? Good, how are you? I can't complain, thanks. What's on your mind? It's a beautiful day, huh? Not too much. Just, uh, yeah. Okay. You been to Colorado recently? Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah, where'd you go? Uh, I went to uh, uh, Minton. 
Okay. Vale. Okay. So you're you seem kind of X Games type of guy. Okay. Right on. That was in Denver, Colorado, in November for a Flat Earth International Conference. Can you believe that people got together and talked about the Earth being a level motionless plane? I actually can. Yeah. How can you? Uh, how does that cross your mind that it's something to talk about? Conventions for a lot of things. Yeah, right. I mean, Star Trek and yeah. so on, right? You know, there's a lot of yeah. There's a lot of well. I mean, think about it like this. There's a lot of conventions for things that probably aren't real. Just people like the same thing, right? Yeah, Star Trek. Right. Right. So even though a lot of Trekkies, I would say probably every one of them have never seen the Earth from that perspective in outer space, it's pretty safe to say that you two would probably believe you live here also, right? Okay. Even though you've never seen this before with your own eyes, in space, right? So what's happening tomorrow? Do you happen to know? Kind of a big thing tomorrow. Like an eclipse or something? No. I mean, it's a big holiday. Oh, oh Easter? Easter? Yeah, Easter, right. So, so with that being said, there's a lot of testimony and evidence, pro proclamations in the Bible, right? Okay. So those people get together on Sunday and they all agree that the testimony that's being said in this book is real, right? And it conveys a message, right? So why is it that you believe everything the state says about where you live? Is there anything in a religious aspect? I don't really think the state tells you where you live. I think it's just like the same reason money exists, you know? Because no, money people exists because believe it exists. It's a concept. Yeah. Right. And it'll only work if people... I've done, I've done three times at our ninth district Fed Reserve Bank telling people about taxes and our <laughs> currency. So I don't just do flat earth. But my point is, is that you've never seen it from this perspective and you're taking astronauts and scientists testimony that this is where you live. So you're in a religion and it's the state religion. And I could safely, probably safely say that there isn't anything on the news or social media or whatever that you hear them say that you don't believe. Okay, moon landing? I mean, moon landing? Yeah. Um, I don't know if it happened when it happened. I think it might have happened later. Okay, so... I it think it might have been, like, try to beat the Russians. Thing. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, that's the typical narrative. Uh, what if the moon isn't at all a physical object to be landed on and you're just believing in fairy tales like Easter? Is that possible? Okay. But you're forming your entire worldview and your perspective about reality based on where you live. If you think you live here and you don't, your whole life is a sham. No offense. But. <laughs> well, I mean, everything. It, it, you know, forgive me, right? But everything. This, I'm making a statement and tell me if it's not true. Everything the state says on the news, you believe. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, pump the brakes back up, you know? Have you all been on an airplane before? You've been to Colorado, but I mean overseas and whatnot? Yeah. Okay, so you feel confident that the Earth could be a globe, right? Do you happen to remember your three destinations, including your layaway point on, on the map here? Like Minnesota to Florida. Okay. Okay, so you're just doing one of these, yeah, so... Okay. Not a big gap, so, if the three of us were to go from LAX to Australia, most likely we would make a stop somewhere here. Maybe Japan or something. I don't know, I've never been there before. But then you would just go down here, because the quickest way to two points is a straight line, right? And the air industry is probably pretty efficient with where they fly their airplanes and they're probably just going to land where another airstrip is, right? Fair enough? Yeah. Right? They're not just going to be flying off to the edge, right? They're going to go from airport to airport. So if you look, the majority of your flights that go from point A, B, and C look more like they make sense on a level flat plane map than a globe. not the same thing because water doesn't bend and conform to the exterior of a shape. It lays flat like it's doing right behind you.
What are you talking about gravity? Like what gravity? <coughs> what gravity are you referring to? Uh, mass attracting mass or the bending of space time? Mass mass. Okay, so when you're walking back and forth on this trail, right? And person in front of you and you can't decide who's gonna go left and who's gonna go right and you run into each other? Is that gravity? Mass attracting mass? It's pretty funny though, right? But I could use that as an experiment. Because here on Earth, you cannot duplicate the Cavendish experiment properly to show mass attracts mass. You know what a plum? You know what a plum is? Fruit. Right. Well, pretty good, right? Blended together with strawberries and pineapple. So a plum is what they use in construction when they're building really tall buildings. And what it is, it's a weight connected to a string and it has some degrees on the bottom of it to know whether something's straight up and down. And they also, in construction, use a spirit level with water in it. So at no point will you ever build a building or a house or anything without those premier items to build things level and straight. They use water because water doesn't do this. You don't live on a globe. And it would be best if you just say, I don't know where I live, but I don't think I live here. That's all. It's a lot to work through. I've been at this, you know, for about three years, you know, so I mean, I've got a bit of a head start, but, you know, it's really like, what's more important? Kind of going around with all your friends and your girlfriends and <clears throat> your family to go along to get along and just live in some illusion? Or do you actually want truth? Because if you actually want truth, people that you used to hang out with won't hang out with you anymore because they love the lie that they live in. Fair enough, right? I mean, I, I get it. I mean, I used to be there five years ago. But when you want to be a more spiritual person and you want truth, you will be led there. And then you will have to choose, do you want truth or do you want um, comfortability? I got one question. Before, before I go. Do your thing. So, you think, like, if, if the earth is flat, is there an edge? Why does there have to be an edge? So it's like infinite? What? But see, you're a human like being, right? Yeah. She's a human being, I'm a human being. We have free will, right? I believe we were created by an infinite creator. Why would he ever, in my opinion, limit us to an edge? Or a ball? Like, there's only so much land and water and resources here, right? So you're already in a prison. You're already putting limits on your mind and who you are and what you're capable of. It is. It's this right here. You don't have to use another example. So, so drove from the U.S. Uh huh. Right. Drove. Okay. Are there roads? Let's just say there's roads in the ocean. Okay. Or you could fly. You could fly. Okay. So you fly to like Japan. Mm hmm And then if you keep going. Mm hmm You end up in. Okay. Why would you keep going? US. You don't. You seem like in a you know a free spirited type of person where like you're a daredevil and stuff. But are you willing to just fly? without proper gasoline and an airport and everything, you're just gonna fly wherever you want? Someone's gotta do it, I Okay, guess. well, I mean, that's great if that's what you wanna do, but that's not likely to happen, right? It's just not likely for you to do that. So you're coming up with an idea to try to explain my I hypothesis, if you will, a way to say that you live here and you don't. Okay, what if it just goes on, can you fall off the edge of the beach here at Lake Calhoun? No, so what if there's just more shorelines? You think someone would have found it then? Are they obligated to tell you then? I'm just saying, right? I mean, I let's be, I'm trying to be real here with you as a human being. They're not obligated to tell you anything, okay? And to tell you anything gets you up to their eye level. Where does the establishment always want us to be? Below. And you know this in your heart. You don't believe everything they tell you, but in your heart, you kind of do, because if you don't, your friends, your family might ostracize you. If you say, I don't really think that towers can fall like that 20 years ago, right? right. I'm, just, I'm just trying to get provoked okay. thought and get you to think for yourself is all. Okay, you know? yeah, I gotta so, get down on Have a good one. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.